Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. My name is Roy, aka Bloody Bananas. And in this video, we're going to talk about some of the most important reasons, in my opinion, that you should pursue a data science career. A little bit of a fun fact about myself, I actually did not consider data science to be my career path until a year before my graduation from college. And um, because I took some courses related to data science, I decided to apply to some position in data science Eventually, I had to decide if I wanted to pursue this uh, career path. So I looked into the pros and cons, and these were some of the reasons why I decided to pursue this career path as a data scientist. And if you are also thinking about pursuing a data science career path, and you're not sure if it's the right path for you, hopefully this video will give you some ideas if you want to pursue your path as a data scientist and without further ado let's get started with the video so firstly um, i think flexible background that was a big reason why i thought data science was the right pivot for me i started as a pure mathematics uh, undergrad major i all the coursework that i took were pure mathematics meaning those were abstract algebra uh, there were some very topo topology analysis. There was a lot of very theories uh, in mathematics, and they were not applied in businesses at all. But eventually, I started taking some applied courses in mathematics, and I realized this was really fun. Um, initially, I wanted to pivot towards a finance career. I wanted to become a financial analyst. I wanted to become a trader or quantitative analyst. I wanted to be one of those guys on Wall Street wearing blazers to work, looking sharp all the time, swimming in money. Uh, but eventually I realized that data science is was also a very, very valid uh, career path because it was uh, I took uh, some courses, like I mentioned, and it was very easy to transition to, even though I did not start as a stats guy. Um, obviously, you could argue that math and stats are very close, but I did not start as stats. I started as pure math. And it wasn't it wasn't hard for me to transition at all. And similarly for the other majors that I mentioned here, the reason why it's easy to transition is because the classworks, the courseworks that you're taking, are very similar as for uh, the fundamental knowledge that you need in data science. For example, if you've taken finance, economics, natural sciences, meaning physics, biology or chemistry, or any engineering courses, or computer science, you've probably taken some things alongside linear algebra, probabilities, or statistics. And it's very common for these courses to be taught in anything that's qualitative. And as long as you know these courses, you could pivot into data science career very easily. And for me, that was a big reason why um, I wanted to transition into this uh, high demanding area um, especially when I was about to graduate. Uh, another fun fact is that I didn't know data science existed until maybe the fourth year of my college days, and um, I decided to transition to data science. Um, again, high demanding and also well compensated. And speaking of that, we're going to get to the next point, is that this job is extremely high in high demand. If you look up data scientist position on Google, we can probably see thousands of postings um, throughout different cities, wherever you live in, especially if you live in high demanding area like San Francisco, Sunnyvale, California, or New York City, you're going to see thousands of postings uh, of data scientist positions from thousands of different companies. Um, and the compensation is pretty good. I'm going to cite a few sources that I looked into just to see what um, some salaries you could expect once you graduate, uh, once you uh, land a job in data science. So uh, obviously there are more uh, job boards that you can look into or job uh, sources, uh, job websites um, that have this uh, salary information. So I'm going to start with Glassdoor. Uh, you could probably look at the, the Glassdoor is also very useful to, useful to find interview questions um, and also salary information. So if you look up entry level data scientist, you're going to see ninety thousand um, dollars on Glassdoor. And Glassdoor actually includes a lot, a lot of data from the past. 
So this is, I would argue that this is very underestimated uh, for uh, for an entry level data scientist to make ninety thousand um, dollars, because I think it's very very plausible to make six figures right after graduation. So a lot of people that I know um, do land a job in data science and they they make six figures uh, very very easily. Um, and as you can see, entry levels here make ninety thousand, and that is pretty good salary, right? Um, and if you look up what are the best jobs um, ever, you're probably going to see data scientists in top 10 in almost um, all of those comparisons that you'll see. And uh, if you're a medium uh, data scientist, uh, you're probably going to land around $122,000 per year, uh, according to Glassdoor. And that is very, very good, right? And if you have a few more years of experience, uh, and you look on Glassdoor, it says a senior data scientist makes around $161,000 per year. And that is very, very comfortable. Um, obviously, again, depending on where you live, it might not be a lot in San Francisco, but it's definitely a lot um, for almost anywhere else. And another source is Indeed.com, uh, also a very common job board. And you'll see that uh, the average base salary is $100,000. And that is extremely good. Um, and this is just the base salary. Um, and for less than a year, apparently here it says makes $87,000. Again, this is base salary. So including um, bonuses, you could make even more. And I would say these two job boards are probably more tame uh, in terms of the salaries expectations that you could um, potentially have as a data scientist. Um, and then we're going to look into other, some other options. H-1B salary base. So if you're a foreign, if you're a foreign, um, if you're a foreigner, um, and you work in the United States, you probably need sponsorship. And then when you new, when you do uh, land a sponsorship, you need to report that data into H-1B salary base. And these are the salaries that we you can look for. Uh, I look for 2021, and they usually all start at the beginning of 2021 here. And the title is data scientist. And you can see that only two out of all these ones on the front page that I saw were below six figures. And keep in mind, these companies, these are tech companies, meaning they will pay stock compensations and they will pay bonuses. This is just the base salary. So if you work in Facebook, Apple, Google, DoorDash with the stock and the bonuses, you're probably going to make well above $200,000. And I did not even search for senior data scientist here, which might even give you even more insane numbers. Uh, but the, the compensation is um, probably m higher in general on H-1B salary base uh, because the company that sponsor generally are bigger companies and they will pay higher um, salaries. And the next one that I will show you guys is levels.fiy. Um, this is usually very, very accurate uh, very recent data as well. I just look for uh, data scientist, new grad. Uh, obviously, some of these data might not be accurate. Um, like, I don't expect this one to be correct at all uh, for a new grad to make this much. Uh, but some of them are definitely possible, right? Uh, if I remember correctly, L4 at Amazon um, is entry level. Uh, they start at level four. And uh, this is how much they're making. And this is incredible amount of uh, compensation that you can make as a new grad. And that is another big reason to consider data science. And again, the job is in very high demand. So if you are a data scientist, a lot of companies will try to hire you, right? Because you will create a lot of business value for them. And speaking of business value, that will bring me to the next point. It's really fun and it's really cutting edge. Uh, the business potential is just unlimited. Um, anything that's cutting edge in the current world, if you think about all the innovations, it involves data science. Uh, there is self-driving, autonomous driving, and that's all data science because it predicts where the car should go to um, in the next step. Um, and then you look into facial rec recognition that comes from computer vision. Uh, you're letting the computer to decide where you're seeing and also stock trading, also um, gaming bots and chess and Go. It could be anything. It could be uh, just League of Legends bots. Maybe if they tried, they could create bots that were 
that are going to completely uh, annihilate us. Um, also generator in art and music, you're going to find a lot of those online where they recreate music um, using some uh, algorithms as well. You've probably seen them in recommendation algorithms from your social network websites, your social network apps, and they'll recommend the things that they think that you'll like. Uh, they'll recommend ads that they think you'll like. Uh, maybe some people find them obnoxious, but it's still part of data science. And I imagine the teams that worked on them was probably very proud of themselves um, and they had all that fun working on them. And that's the part of data science is that you're always working on something new. You're not going to start a project that looks exactly the same as before. You're not going to have a project that uses the exact same methods as a, a project that you worked before. You're going to try a lot of new things. Some of them might fail, but that's fine. And that's why it's called science. Science involves failures. And that part could be really fun because after a ton of failures, you're going to get a success and you're going to see the business value that you're going to create. Um, and uh, for me, I find that extremely fun. Uh, I like experimenting. I like trying something new. And um, that was, again, a big reason for me um, to consider joining uh, to pursue this career path as a data scientist. Um, and that was pretty much it. Hopefully my video helped you guys, um, especially if you're also considering to pursue this career path as a data scientist. Um, and hopefully my other videos will help you to get a job in data science as well. I will be making more videos on that. Um, and uh, yeah, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in my next video.